Okay, back. In its dream. Why? Because I realize I don't have anything to spend my tombstones on. Welcome, warriors of the step in order to receive you once more. Observe the battle from a distance and mark the moment of your triumphs. In that instant, I would see us. Not only did you bring us victory in the Nardam, but you ensured that every one of my kinsmen returned with their lives. Some were more gravely wounded than others, but none were lost to it. Could not have asked for anything. If it is not m too much of an imposition, would you be g willing to go and speak with them? A simple gesture for those of whom you shared the battlefield. Part of me still struggles to believe it, but we won! We defeated the Ornir and Dothral. We won! When they appeared before us, I was filled with such fear and I had never known. But when I saw you charge charge with Cyrano and the others, and before I knew it, I was running and shouting. I will carry the memory of that moment with me always, as well as the moment when you became one with the Uvru and was were declared Khan. Victory pose, you struck with a sight to behold. I say, would you be willing to show us again? Hmm. Victory pose. Awesome. That's the stuff of legends. That's the Han as in all his splendor. Praise be to the Khan and to the gods who guided him to us. Glory to the Han and his comrades forever and ever. Hundred years, the Han. Khan. Essigos, I am told you gave the young warriors a fine show. Your mother and I have been discussing how we might best express our gratitude to you. Mere words did not seem sufficient. This is a modern kur, a traditional instrument of our people. The feats of our greatest heroes like Bottom and Chaka are preserved in song. Yours too will live on for years to come. Perhaps one day we will learn how to play it, but even if not, we may look on the Morinkur and remember this time, this place, as we will when we hearken to the music. Oh. By the way, I believe I can fly in the obscene step. Lord Hien's eyes are filled with determination.
At the risk of sounding impatient, we have certain pressing obligations. It is time that we saw to them. You all right? To whom much is given, much is expected. Hey, do not think ourselves so so indebted you, yourself so indebted to us. Was it not you who gave us your blessing to participate in the Nadam, and you who saved my lord Hien from certain death? Doma is in your debt and will ever be a friend to the ball. And we to you, Gosetsu. With that occurs to me, if you wish to return to Yanksha with all haste, the passage to the south of the Dusk Throne would offer the most direct route. The Dothral seeded it, sealed it with their magics during the Roman Rebellion, when more men in iron came from afar. If ever there was a time to open the pass, it is now. We should journey to Dothral Car. But before that, might we, we visit the Dawn Throne? I wish to speak with our most radiant brother. Are you sure that's a good idea? I know he agreed to fight for Doma, but I doubt he'd be very happy to see us so soon after we beat him. Nama made us for war. At least, ever since we came into this world, we have fought. In the autumn, blood was shed and lives were lost. Brown earth was stained crimson and Zayla wept. But crimson is the dusk and the dawn, death and rebirth, an ending to mark a new beginning. We who are born are destined to die. As the seasons turn, we are born again. Thus spoke the first. Do you see, we harbor no hatreds. The Nadam is the Nadam, and what comes after is what comes after. If you say so, the Dawn Throne first, then. Yes, and I shall accompany you. Oh. Go the volume back down again. Since it's not voiced over. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. I can't use a dragon anymore. Because I have... Something more suitable. A yol. Oh, God. That's... This ghost is so tiny on it. Anyways. The sun is disinclined to entertain you at length. Speak your purpose in coming. Um, humble as ever. Should I be humble in the presence of inferiors? I am a child of Azim, and you are Azim. Azim. It's called the Azim, Sep. Azim. And you are not. Your triumph in the Nadam does not raise you to such heights. You know what? I could punch you in the face. But you will not be joining us. He was wounded in the Nadam. His hurts are grave, and he requires rest, but he will walk again in time. Though it is no business of yours, such pity does not become a car. Con. You are not, we are not allies, traveler, far from it. The Naram will come again, and with it our rule. I say again, why have you come? To bid us surrender the Dawn Throne to the Mole? Nay, the mole have been holding to the will of the gods, and we would not have us reside here. Though our near and the Bugara will re may remain. We we are for Yanksha and wish to speak to you of your part in the coming war. Ah, the Domans and the Ironmen. I remember our pact. Sound the call and the or near will answer. 
Full glad am I to hear it. You, we have preparations to attend to, but we'll send for you soon. The gods are kind. I am sure the Oronir will prove a boon in the days to come. Of the dusk, a maiden gentle and ethereal, a dancer in the morning mist, and a warrior besides. Look into my eyes, child. See you, Azim. Are you my Nama? <laughs> I know not what you speak, Brother Meg. Thing I, I am certain you are mistaken. Quite. <laughs> we should get going. Right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. All right, keep forgetting. I got a yule. I can fly. Time to speak to Sadhu. Flying on my yule in the Azim step at sundown. Oh, let me check something here. So there's this option here of play music when mounted. I believe each mount has their own mount music. What does a mana cutter have? Okay, I'll say this. I, I, I don't want. I just want the current ambient background music. I just rather have the music of where I am, not because I'm mounted. I don't have to have the different music for, for different occasions. I hate it else going when I enter a fate and the music changes to be battle music. Ugh. Different music when I go into an instance, like I go into Alexander, which has some of the really, some of the coolest music. Sure, that's cool. I want to do that. I don't need it all the time. I'll t stick with the, the, the area I'm in, okay? Whatever the overall background music for the area is, let's stick with that and keep it thematic. I don't need to be taken out of my immersion by some. Random battle music because I'm on a mount or I've joined a fate. If I've gone into some sort of instance content in, in an area, like I, I do a duty, a single, uh, a solo duty somewhere in a, in a location, if that has different music, sure, it's a solo duty. It's, it's an instanced thing. It's not, it's separate from the general world. But when I'm in the world, the open world. I don't need to have something different. Anyways. <laughs> the Han and his warriors. Greetings, my lady. 
We come to you on our journey southbound for Yangsha, where our comrades wait us. How fare you and yours in the wake of the Nardom? Many were wounded, some few to the death. Resplendent were their souls in the chaos. It was a good battle, a good day to die. Soon we will greet them again. And mayhap one will, who went before them, them also. Yes, your seed was has quickened in his lover. When the child is born, we, we shall see who waits behind its eyes. Already we must look to the next Nadam. We must grow strong of body and mind, and, our, and your war will help us do so. Say the word, and we will fly to the field. Of that I have no doubt, for you are the thrall. There's one more thing we would ask you. The magics you use to seal the passage to the south. Will you unmake them? If that be your wish. When next you, we come together, it will be a great battlefield against the common foe. I trust you will fight with the same fervor you demonstrated during the Nodham. Ah! And you, ancient one, will be the demon I know you to be. Not less would be a disappointment. Ah! I uh, did it again. I can't fly in Yangsha, so I can't use the Yol there. Well, I can use the Yol. The Yol can be a ground mount, but it's a... Come on. You're on a flying mount. It has wings. It It's essentially flying. It's only flying a few feet above the ground. It doesn't really make sense. Using a choke boat, oh, which is... Tends to not fly. You know, it's ostrich emu esque. Doesn't fly. It may have wings, but it's not supposed to fly. But in this game, everything's magic, so, like, even an elephant can fly without having to have really big ears. Sadhu Katan oh, Katun has done her part. This passage will deliver you to Doma. It is here you we must part ways until the day we call you called us to battle. It won't be long, I know, and take care of yourself, Sir Serna, and tell your grandmother and the others again how much we appreciate everything they did for us. I can't do Lisa's voice very well. Or at least I forget how she speaks. I will. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have another gift for you. It's, um, it's a uh, red, um, wait. Is this a banner of the Mole Tribe? If it is not the most practical of gifts, but we none nevertheless wish to present it to you. I do not w fully understand what has befallen Doma, or your homeland lease, but I do understand that you and yours have suffered terribly. The Mole place their faith in the gods, and in turn they shepherd us. They watch over us and keep us. We pray they show you the same favor. As it was in the Nadam, blood will be shed, your lands engulfed in a storm of fire and steel. Yet as it did, did here, it shall mark a new beginning there. May you ever walk in crimson, for in crimson there is life, there is liberation. Thank you for your prayers, Serena. We will, we shall remember them. Ah! 
I love Serena. She's so cute. Until we meet again. Maybe it's a traditional bow or something, but she feels really stiff doing that. I... Animal banner. Fortunately, I have an apartment to put this stuff in. I actually need to put a table down. Right then, to the house of the fierce, with me, my friends. I'm going to turn this up because I think Lise does another, uh, um, the other thing. And I'm popping on my chocobo because I can't fly in Yankshire yet. <laughs> okay, so she didn't start talking again. I've not used this road before, and uh, but I uh, recognize this place. The House of the Fierce should lie somewhere to the south. I will go ahead and inform the sentries of our master's return. There's, there's a possibility I may be going around the long way. Here we are. Here we are. I wonder if they all are gathered inside, waiting, perhaps expecting a speech or some such. Well, no matter. I shall have to do what I, I shall have to do. Might have some voiceover, so I'm bringing it up. Brothers and sisters, pray forgive me my absence. It has been far too long. Lord Hian. Gossetsu told us of your trials and tribulations on the steppe. Would that I had been present to witness your victory, my lord. Our victory, Yugiri, owed as much to each of my stalwart comrades as it did to me. Now rise. I will not suffer this excess of formality any longer. Alfino and Alize levy you, I presume. I am told we owe you much. It is a pleasure to meet you both. The pleasure is ours, Lord Hian. Though we were born and raised a world apart, our values are one and the same. Freedom, justice, liberty. Each of which Doma shall soon enjoy once more. Hopefully. I understand you have brought an army. Indeed. The Zayla tribes of the Azim Steppe have pledged their military might to the cause. Good. We, meanwhile, have secured the support of the Confederacy and a not insignificant number of your countrymen. The Blue Kojin, too, have expressed a willingness to join the fight, provided you agree to certain trade agreements following the liberation of Doma. The Shinobi will render what aid they can. However, Suino Sato refused to answer our call. No matter. What forces we have amassed far exceed my original expectations. You have my thanks. You should know that Xenos departed Doma not long after you left to find Lord Hian. We know not the reason why, but it would seem he was eager to return to Gear Abania. What? Have you heard anything from the Resistance? There hasn't been another attack, has there? Totaru assures me they are quite well. You need not worry. If anything, this turn of events would seem to be to our advantage. But there the good news ends. 
Yotsuyu retains her position as acting viceroy, and we have reports that the garrison at Doma Castle is preparing for a massive operation. We suspect that the Empire's attempt to eliminate you on the steppe may have been a prelude to a larger effort to purge the remaining pockets of resistance within Doma. The hour of reckoning is upon us. Victory will be all soon will soon be ours. Because I'm Essigos and I'm an idiot. <laughs> the Han has spoken. And I for one am not inclined to argue. In this place, in this moment, I call upon you all. Twenty-five years of oppression, of tyranny, of shame. It ends with us. We will prevail. Once more, welcome back. It is good to see you again, Essigas. Ah, yes, there is another recent development we neglected to share with you. Alize and I have been hard at work attempting to restore the Aetherite here and to its former glory, and I'm pleased to inform you that we succeeded. Suffice it to say, it would pr prove a boon for travel. Well, for those replete with anima, like you, at least. I imagine you are eager to hear the particulars of our plan. Allow me a moment to gather everyone's attention. I think this might be the ode. If all are in agreement, I will outline my plan to retake Doma Castle. First, Lise and the Doma Irregulars will conduct a series of raids against Imperial targets throughout the surrounding area, with the aim of drawing the garrison's attention. Shortly thereafter, our Zayla allies will launch a surprise attack on the castle's airborne defenses. In this way, we will prevent the enemy's airships from rendering support and cut off one means of escape. Alize and I, together with the Shinobi, will exploit the ensuing chaos to infiltrate the moon gates and disable the Magitek field generators. Once the barrier is down, we will be free to cross the one river and reach Doma Castle. It is at this point that we must turn to our Confederate and Kojin allies. They will commence to bombard the castle with cannon fire while sailing west towards the Doman Enclave. Wait, the Enclave? Why would you want them to sail away from the castle? Because the Enclave is home to countless civilians. Once pressed, the Imperials may well think to take them hostage, and I would fain forestall any such attempt. After we have secured the Enclave, we may lay siege to Doma Castle directly. The main strength of the Doman Liberation Front, under Lord Hien's command, shall be committed to this endeavor, as will you and your redoubtable allies. The rest is simple. We scour the castle for the Viceroy, we find her, and we subdue her. Without their leader, what remains of the Imperial's morale will crumble, and they will surrender or attempt to flee. And Doma will be free. Your thoughts, Lord Hien? If any points were unclear or gave you cause for concern, I should be glad to go over them with you. Nay, tis a fine plan. You have a talent for this. That much is plain. We shall carry out Alphano's plan to the letter. Time is of the essence, as you know, so let us each see to our respective preparations. Carry on.
Quick, BRB, I'm going to top off my beverage. Let it be right back. All right, let's talk to Hien. There is no sort of task which must needs be completed before we can launch an attack. If you have a moment, perhaps you can lend a hand. That said, I have only just returned. It would be better for you to speak with Alphano to find out how you might be of service. Trying to keep busy, for glad am I to hear it. There is one task which calls, comes to mind. As I, as I explained during my briefing, Alize and I will need to infiltrate the moon gate to, to disable the Magitech field generators. Though I pride myself on my knowledge of various subjects, I must confess I lack confidence in my knowledge of this particular one, which is why I turn to an expert. I have been conversing with Sid via Tataru, attempting to ascertain the design of the generators based on our limited intelligence. Most recently, he sent a parcel with some documents, which he believes may be of use. I would like you to go to Kagane and bring them back here. In the meantime, I will continue to work with our shinobi allies to plot a path into the gates. Safe travels as the ghost, and thank you again. Alright, so first things first. In a new place with an aetherite. Now we, that we have a fixed one here. Is it tuned to the aetherite? <laughs> now I'll go to Kagane. How many quests do I have until I unlock the, the things? A good question. Fortunately, I have a source. We are at sixty seven, so. Uh, this is room one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thir
to be efficient, I can't turn this quest in <laughs> until I can finish all 37 of these quests. So I'm kind of do trying to do a speed run of this. But I'm trying to stream it, so it's kind of like I'm doing a bunch of back and forth stuff. I'm probably going to stop trying to do voices and, and just reading everything. Ugh. I mean, this is like first world problems. <laughs> Eskos, what are you doing here? I thought you were all fighting nomads in the Azim Steppe. Oh, you beat them? Good show. <laughs> Shame I didn't get to see it. Alpha Noah has been keeping me apprised of the situation in Doma. I may not be any good in the physical fight, but in their uh, paperwork fight, I'm a true con. Yeah. I love Tataru so much. I also need to do my class quest when I hit 70, which is like... In a level and an eighth. <laughs> You're here for the parcel said 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 right. Wait a moment. We'll be right back. Tataru has uh, <laughs> Tataru has Hancock whipped. It arrived not long ago. Porter delivered to our office along with various other knickknacks or mayors. Yeah. Sid regret, regrets that he couldn't come uh, come here in person. Apparently, his hunt for the dragon and Omega demands his full attention, you see. Still, he is re recently reasonably confident that the documents he provided would be enough for Alphano to do the work, work himself. So as soon as the parcel gets here, we can open it up and see what's inside. Pardon my interruption, but the parcel in question, was it the one that, placed, that you placed on the shelf in the back for safekeeping? I believe so, yes. Why did you ask? Well, you see, on closer inspection, said parcel appears to have been addressed to the uh, Sekisegumi uh, barracks. So it does indeed bulge with the quantity of paper reminiscent of a rather large instruction manual. The lingering scent of lilac leads me to conclude it is, in fact, a sizable collection of love letters. What? Impossible! That parcel was carried a parcel addressed to us. I saw the writing with my own eyes. Oh, I do not doubt that in the least. However, as he was tasked with the number of deliveries, I can only presume he handed you another parcel by mistake. This is a disaster. We have to find that porter right this instant. Why? She can move quickly when she has a mind to do it. So quickly she neglected to take those love letters with her. You too must be rejected. They too must be rejected to their rightful recipient. They should also aid you in tracking down the right porter. They keep records of the deliveries and so forth after all. The man in question is middling height and build, not unlike myself. Black hair, short, terribly helpful in Kugani, I know. A <laughs> Which is... <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think about this the first time. But Kugan is supposed to be like Tokyo, right? It's Hingen, whatever Higane or whatever the name of the the island is. It's supposed to represent this. I don't know if this is Koji Fox's reason because he's translate these, or if this was intentional on the original. The quest writers. <laughs> Middling height in build. Black hair short. Sounds very much like stereotypical Japanese. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Cheery start wearing bright colors. As I recall, I sent a few of my men out to search, but in the meantime, why don't you take the parcel and see if you can't track them down yourself? I'll wait here on the off chance he realizes his mistake. I could be misinterpreting that, and or it, it was not intentional, but it sounds very much like stereotypical Japanese men. Again, stereotypical, not exactly like Japanese men, but the stereotype. 
I'll flick in the <laughs> Rakuza district. <laughs> oh my god. It's awful. I, 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 I just so wonder if that's true. And of course I find him. Good evening to you, sir, but I have no time to chat. I have to head to, to Bokharu. Or was it the hostelry? Bah! No time, no time. Hi, I recognize that parcel. I delivered it to the Ruby Zar not long ago. What of it? Ah, mistake. What the sake is you say? Uh, ah, you're right. How stupid of me. Fortunately, I have yet to pay, uh, visit the barracks. This is for you. Yes, uh, I will take the other in exchange. Yes, uh, must get back to work. Okay. Here's Tataru. Tataru is back at the office. <laughs> Speed run 37 quests. But Tatara got her group back. 36. <laughs> We're going to do a countdown until we end this thing. The only problem is we've got trials and dungeons in the meantime. Ah! I'm going to do this by the end of the week. Technically, I can turn this book in after the weekly reset because it's not due until the 27th, but... I'm sorry, I couldn't find him. I guess. Anyways, here's the parcels. <laughs> Shut up, take the parcel. That's it, that's the parcel. You found him. So, knowing our luck, Sid did <laughs> put the wrong papers in here. Nope, this is it. These are the documents detailing the operation Magitech field generators often are requested. Here you go. I can only imagine uh, what would have happened and had we sent Eskos back to Doma with a parcel full of love letters. The look on Alphado's face when he read the first page. On second thought, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed you didn't. Everyone's working so hard to fight for Doma freedom, and here I am, making the same silly mistakes. It won't happen again, Eskos, and I will keep working hard to bring you and the others useful information. If you hear anything new, we will contact you straight away. Oh, and you may be pleased to hear that we have brokered an arrangement with the uh, the company in the Confederacy. They they require armaments we provide uh, discreetly and at a reasonable price. I'm sure Lord Lorito is pleased to hear of it, hear of it. <laughs> indeed, he was. Indeed, he was. Mm. <laughs> well, it seems our time together is ended. In give Alphanota Elise uh, my regards. Will you? Back to Yangsha to the House of the Fierce, which I can teleport directly to without having to dive into a thing. Oh my god. The Yangsha ether currents. Ooh, I haven't really done those. During that five hours that I was gone, that should have been one of the things I was doing was Getting an Aether Curtis in Yanksha. Oh, it seems like just yesterday that you were here. Our <laughs> it's magic to go to Kikana in here, and it only took me like wait, maybe like a half an hour or something in Eorzean time to, to do this. Seems like just yesterday you were here. Her plans to proceed apace. Do you have the documents? <laughs> Alphano, you know I there's an Aetherite in Kagane. And here, it doesn't take me long to get between the two places. Excellent. This looks to be exactly what we need. Assuming our shinobi escort can see, see us safely into the moon gate, so I should have no, no trouble deactivating the barrier. Good, good. This is one, one less thing to worry about. Uh, should you wish further, further employment, may, may I help you speak to Alize. If you... I believe she is planning to search the surrounding area for Imperial patrols. If you go now, you may be able to catch her before she departs. Alize! Hey, wanna go punch some Imperial faces? Alphano told you about my plans, and you wish to come with me? Well, far be it for me to refuse. You? If truth be told, I'm not entirely sure that what to expect to find in the wake of your failed assassination attempts the 
Imperials demonstrated uncharacteristic strength. There is no public executions, and not a single village was put to the torch. So we need to put a stop to it. Okay. I'm rushing reading that. I'm not dealing with my hands. They say we need to put a stop of it. Let's put a search to the north. Yes, they are. This is all like busy work stuff. Okay, now follow me. Imperial patrols near our headquarters, then good. Last thing we need is is a repeat of Rago's Reach. Even so, it would be prudent to search a little longer. Here's the thing is, on this type of, like, mission, it, we kind of want it to be boring. If it's boring, everything is A-okay. Exactly the enemy I was worried about. Damn it all. I can't just leave the carcass lying in the middle of the road. We got stronger. Next to you, I feel like a child playing with swords and sorcery, though mayhap it suits me better than books. I owe much to the Makote I, I met on my travels. He was a master of these techniques, and I kindly agreed to t teach me the fundamentals. And I, I never could warm to, to common rapiers. I vastly preferred using a blade of my own creation, despite the toll it took on me. Oriange's gift was a godsend, to be honest. Anyway, we have fallen behind. We should split up and try to recoup coop some lost time. You've heard rumors of imperial soldiers skulking about disguised as villagers. One was supposedly spot near the ribbons to, to the south of here. Go and see if there's anything out of the ordinary. Oh, hello there, young man. My associates and I are in the middle search of fertile soil for farming in this land caught our eye. Do you doubt my words? I suspect you have some other purpose in coming here. Hmm, how vexing it to be questioned in this matter. Sure, well, he desires the truth, and you shall have it to him. Deal with him. Oh, good, you got him. Oh, 
I saw them attack you when, while this one fled. Since you seem to have everything in hand, I decided to capture him. Imperial, I presume. I knew this would come to this. But at the hands of the Westerner, Doman would at least know the rights. You think you understand, but you do not. She will burn it all up before she surrenders. She will never kneel again. Nor should she. As it goes. Rest assured that Nyeri will receive due compensation. Young Asahi was great potential, which that much was plain. If he applies himself, he may one day be granted the opportunity to go to Garlemon and learn of some of the leading authorities in the field of Magitech. Few citizens are afforded such treatment. However, much less people of the provinces. You will need, you will need to do more. Oh, oh, of course, I have no doubt that you shall. My husband and I want only the best imperial education for our boy. I'm finished planting the rice, Mother. Not while the officer is here, Yotsuyu. Inside, now. Yes, mother. You did not mention you had a daughter. My sister's not mine. Kami was her soul. Oh, she's utterly hopeless. But one cannot choose one's family. Indeed, she is of age to receive an education as well, is she not? Yet you have no records. I trust I need, need not remind you of her own legal obligations. No, no, of course not, but she is weak and sickly. Someday she, she has not the strength to leave her bed, though a thought occurs to me. Mayhap you can come to an understanding? What? Oh. I was about to punch him. <laughs> that was a near thing. What happened? You were t we were talking, and all of a sudden, you it was somewhere else. Did one of those soldiers hit you on the head or something? Well, if you say so, we should go and tell the others what happened. I almost think as goes from kick him in the face. There's a lot of implications that happen there. Inside. Yeah, she's inside. I'm just gonna teleport. Thank you. You didn't have to come with me, but you did, and for that, I am grateful. I told the others of our encounter with the disguised soldiers, so we had disposed of the bodies. It's only a matter of time before their comrades met their absence. 
As if we needed any more reason to qu act quickly. Are you sure you're all right, by the way? You were awfully quiet since we returned. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, that's why I saw it coming. You still want to... One for work, Alize has a suggestion. If you, I tell you to rest and leave the to rest and leave the rest to a, to the others. But seeing as that isn't your nature, Lise returned but a moment ago, looking looking a bit worried. It would seem that there was trouble afoot in the mai. May as well go and ask her about it. As for me, I will not impose upon you any further. Quick men, current gear. I barely got enough armor as it is. Huh. Hey, what's up? Oh, you're here to help? That's a relief. I've been trying to help the visitors in my get ready for the operation, but we're, we've run into a few problems. You remember how we were supposed to stir up trouble as a diversion, right? Well, the thing is, we don't have enough armor to go around. I thought the Dome Elimination Fund would be able to furnish us with some, but it seems that that's not the case. i about to go and t tell Issei. Why don't you come too? It's a different unlock. Oh, you're here too. I heard that. Uh, heard about those soldiers you and Alize encountered. I'm glad that you're all right. Ahem, right then. You say we've gathered up all the rope we can find in the village, and every tool with an edge, but still not enough. Even a hoe would be suffice, but there's no more to spare. Thank you, Chigusa. Uh, Ryosin uh, could use a hand if there's nothing else. As for more tools, I may have some have some in my house. Go and search it. Take whatever me meets your needs. I have I made enough rice balls for everyone, including some special ones for Lady Yagiri. Can I go and give them to her? You you silly little girl. Of course you can. Hurry. You, you never know when she'll have to leave on a secret mission. Ha 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 ha. Sorry about that. Everybody's been trying to contribute since Lord Hien returned. There is so much to worry about. You're doing well, Is say. Uh, though I have to ask, have you had any luck finding more armor? Unfortunately, no. Unlike weapons, there is no substitute for proper protection. It's not as though we need to sell suits of imperial plate, but we're not soldiers. If we attack without any equipment, we'll be slaughtered. The Dome and Liberation Front doesn't have any armor to spare. I suppose we... We could ask Hancock, but there's no telling how long it would take for him to send us supplies. Do you have an armor in the village, or someone with some skill to fashion armor? There is one man, a craftsman who uh, fled the Enclave. He is experienced and may be able to help. I don't know if I could persuade him to, though. Maybe you two could come with me. Worth a shot. His name is Suronuki, and he lives in Kusakari in the south. Come with me. Oh, this is one of the, the things. Uh, that was a uh, liquid. There you are. <laughs> I'm proceeding on that while I'm doing other things. Yeah. It's a cur nearby. A oh, bunch of the way to the north. We're getting that some other time.
Wahaha, who are these starry eyed used to stand before me? One who sings a rebellion of liberation? <laughs> sure, you would not think to trouble me with such foolish dreams. Oh, go and say what you will, but do not take offense. Uh, if I die from laughter. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got uh, Condor's uh, and Red Mage. Here we go. Uh, say again? You would let uh, you would have me fashion armor for villagers who wish to fight Imperial regular. You're just <laughs> a mad fool of charging boldly to be meet their deaths. Bring me steel, or I shall give them shells to to shield their soft bellies. Yes, yes, plates of steel, all that you can carry. The better to sh to shield them from blade and bullet. If only it were so simple, Master uh, Suranuki. Steel plates are not so easily procured. Blind, deaf, and dumb, are you, boy? Or a wash of broken steel? Magitek, great cylinders, some crashing to the earth from from on high. Shatter them to bits with my explosives. They will not fail you, uh, for I made them to kill Imperials. Uh, bring me my steel, and you will ha have your armor. Well, it's not like we know, know of any other armors who can help. At least we can get to blow things up. Yeah, entire path I can walk here. And then I swim. And me trying to go fast. Yeah, hey, you have the as the many plates of steel I demanded. Show me. Yeah, I got about fifteen. Baha! Then you are committed to your cause, dressing villagers as soldiers marching off to war. Stupid, stupid fools! Doma is dead, and so are people. Lord Kayan, Lord Hien, all dead. Their blood is on your hands. Um, actually. 
"'Twas Lord Kyan who saved us, who spared us the worst when the Garleans came. Every shred of pride and honor he cast aside without a second thought, all to win their trust, all to serve as their puppet, restored to his throne years later, a paper tiger. Much shame he must have felt, but no matter, he would suffer it for his people. Alive as slaves better than none at all, he believed, but not us. After my lady died, he began to whisper in his we began to whisper in his ears dreams of freedom and liberation. We pushed him to take action, if only a little. Ten years of preparation, of machinations. So careful we would be, and yet, yet. Doma burned for our foolishness, not for that of Lord Kayan. Monzen, the enclave, they were all raised for our sins. And we, we murdered them all, don't you see? murdered you all. You're wrong, master. We are still here. We are still alive. Lord Kyan too lives on, in our hearts, and in his son, for Lord, Lord Hien has returned. Lord Hien? Alive? It cannot be. You lie! You lie! It's the truth. Hien came back to Doma to help her fight for freedom. Could, could it be? My Lord Hien still lives? Oh. Oh! Bands of steel to bind the chest and belly? Yes, yes, I must eat the forge and make it work at once! Ten. One hundred. How many, how many do you need? All of that and more you shall have. Yay! Uh, the Gladiator, Marauder, Dark Knight, Samurai, I don't need any of those. But the uh, new uh, weapon, even after 25 years of oppression, they still have, have it in them to stand up and fight. We just have to show them the way forward. He's saying I will, will stay and help uh, Suranuki uh, finish the armor, so you've no, need, you've no need to wait around. Why not go back to the House of the Fierce? I'm sure there's plenty of work left to be done. Ask about and see what you can find. Everything's order center under Lord Gosetsu's sage tutelage. We grow stronger by the day. Hmm. Help? Oh, no, no, no. I will not impose upon you without cause. Rest assured that everything is in place and every place is in... Well, everything's fine. I require no assistance, comrade. Lord Hien's instructions to me were quite clear. I need only transcribe them for the benefit of our Zela allies. Speaking of Lord Hien, if you're eager to be of service, may you would seek him out to keep an eye on him, perchance, should he decide to venture outside. Hmm, let me guess. Someone asked you to act as my protector. Ha! You hear them mutter, one would think I intend to stride to the castle gates on my own. Truth is, of course, it's rather less dramatic. I was hoping to look on the castle one last time before the battle. Would you care to join me? You would be setting a lot of fretful minds at rest. Very good. Let us depart for Monzen at once. Which I haven't been to before. Here it's the
Ronson was home to uh, many great and powerful families, men of honor, samurai once. Great swaths were raised and people got put to the sword. That What little remains stands as a testament of what was and what will never be again. Come, I would take a closer look. Now their monsters inhabit the ruins. In most centuries, at least the living sort, these shambling suits of armor have the run of place. To think that it was only a bustling street so full of life, there were people with the current uh, all that own. But even then, the Imperials walked among us, sometimes openly, sometimes discreetly, but we were always aware of their presence, and we, we were complicit. He did what he had to do to preserve the peace, to keep our people safe, but at what cost? Forgive me, this is neither the time nor the place for such dark musings, though we did serve to remind me of the barracks which once stood to the west of here, where they may yet be weapons our comrades can use. If you head down the street past the, those makeshift barricades, you would come to the ruins. I will search elsewhere. Meet me at the water's edge when you have finished. Oh, I don't want to join the fate. Thank you. Ah, alas, I found not to value, did you? Still sheathed in its scabbard. Though even shielded from the elements, it will need to be cleaned and oiled. I recognize the crest. It belonged to the son of the samurai I trained with, with when I was young. He never even had the chance to draw it. There she is. Doma Castle. My home. They let us keep her for a time before gradually moving their forces across uh, from Fluminit. The minis, Fluminis. Now, her every court and corridor belongs to Yotsuyu. Though father spent much of her time there, I d of his time there, I did not. I on may only have visited him there on half a dozen occasions, if that. I cannot remember. But I remember the view from the keep. Doma seemed much smaller from there. Like you, you could hold it. Well, Monzen at last. At least, Domo is so much more than that. There, beyond the moon gates, onto the shores of the Ruby Sea, and here, in the places that no man can see or touch or take from you. We carry her with us wherever we go. Not the land or the soil, but the story. And what is life if not a story? The story of our journey from dust Dawn to dusk, day after day after day. The story of our mothers and our fathers, our families and our friends, our people and our nations. I think part of me understood that when I looked up, uh, looked out from the keep. Kien, son of Kayan. And another caretaker of the story of Doma. It's a fine castle, truly. With an even finer view. But in the end... In, in the end...
Kami strike me down. How could I be so blind? We must return to the House of the Fears at once. I have had what would only be described as a revelation. Oz is an excellent plan, but not so excellent that it cannot be improved. I know how. Give me those padas. Give me weapons that go to my inventory and not my armory chest because I've got way too many weapons. Such as skillets. I can almost guarantee uh, that's what I thought. He yeah, understands what he must do for Doma. On second thought, as goes, I ask that, ask that you return to the House of Fears without me and tell Alphano to call the others for a meeting. It is imperative that the Kojin emissary be in attendance as well. I shall join you in on. And I believe I have a VO. Lord Hien wishes to discuss the details of our plan. Very well, if he insists, I shall summon the others at once. As for the Kojin, I believe one of their emissaries is already en route. Nonetheless, I shall contact them to make certain. May I present the Blue Cogent's Emissary. <laughs> Greetings and well met, old friends. The Elder sends his regards. Soroban, it's good to have you with us. If uh, you might humor me. Thank you for coming, Sorama. Doubtless you have already been informed of our plans and the role we would have your people play. However, I seek your counsel as a Kojin of the Blue. Be it by spell or siegecraft, could your forces destroy the underwater foundations of Doma Castle's outer wall? Hmm. Explosives coupled with a few incantations. Yes, that might produce sufficient force. Such a thing could indeed be done. Then I wish to revise the plan. Instead of assisting the Confederacy in securing the Enclave, I would have the Kojin advance upstream beneath the water and breach a segment of the outer wall. I mean to flood Dorma Castle. My lord, the castle is a sacred symbol, the very heart of our nation. To destroy it is unthinkable, unconscionable. You cannot do this. I can and I will if it improves our chances. By flooding the castle, we remove the better part of their forces from the field and force Yotsu to retreat to the highest levels of the keep. Tell me that is not a worthwhile trade. But my lord, that castle was entrusted to you by your father, and his father before him. I say to you again, it is the heart of our nation. Stone walls do not a nation make, my friend. Her people do. And as long as we yet live, we can rebuild. So let us only think of this battle, of victory here and now. For without that, we have no future.
I see that you are resolved, Lord Hian, and I would not presume to gainsay your decision. I will inform the Elder of your revised stratagem, and instruct our sappers to make ready. Our preparations are all but complete. Once we receive word from our Korjin allies, we shall set our plans in motion. We shall fight, and we shall prevail. No plan is perfect when there is a, and there is ever room for improvement. I expect my comrades will be refi will be refining their approach until the moment they begin. In the case you are unaware, the only Jojin, the other Jojin, will lead the assault on the moon gates, not I. My place is at Lord Hien's side. If there's nothing else, I'd head back to no I'll head back to Namai. So Anuki's working hard, and he says doing what he can to help, but maybe there's more that I can do too. He was like a different person when he began hammering those plates. Younger, brighter, full of life and hope. The plan is set, and all that can be done will be done. Rest and relaxation is now paramount, for tomorrow we may die. Have you two not done enough? Will you not pause a moment to gather yourself on the eve of a grand design? Do not go not on to battle with weary eyes or lingering regrets, my friend. Thorbon informs me that his sappers will be ready within the day, which means we will proceed as planned and attack Doma Castle tomorrow. Considering the key role you will play, I think it's most prudent that you refrain from further labors and rest until tomorrow. Agreed? Ah, uh, no rest for the righteous. True enough, true enough. When we have seen to your, your sundry tasks and are ready to retire, I pray you let me know. Oh. I, I guess. <laughs> In order to complete this crisis, <laughs> we shall speak again in the morning. Take care, my friend. I suppose that's the hey, shit's about to go down. Get some time going. Or get some time ready. Uh, I don't have summer up. I don't have black mage up. I don't have machinist up, and I don't have a bard up. So I'm gonna go with the uh, materia because I can sell it easily, and it can be to anybody who wants it. This is VO'd. I know for sure. You're awake. I was just, um, well, they threw me out, actually. Told me I needed to get some sleep. Ready for the big day. Not long now, eh? I'm nervous, of course, but I also feel like, like I didn't know where I was going, but maybe finally something's gonna change, you know? Really, really change. And when the dust has settled, we'll see what we've won, and what we've lost. I'm going to give it my all tomorrow. Everything I've seen and felt, I won't let it be for nothing. Right, off to bed. Don't want to overdo it, and neither should you. Oh, but before you sleep... You should look in on Elfino and Alize. Quietly, of course.
I'm assuming the House of the Fierce has like side rooms or something, right? beds and such. Aww. Ha! Huh, another restless soul. Come, come. Raise a glass to freedom. <laughs> Good. I should be interested to know his thoughts on the matter. Okay, hey, here's my thoughts. As you guys could probably drink these guys under the table. Also, the reason why I laughed was the last time I had this cutscene, I was on a row. Basically, I was the size of Gosetsu. So I just kind of like walked over and sat down. <laughs> Lava fell comes over. And yep. <laughs> ah, that's enough, Gosetsu. You'll not convince anyone with your drunken ramblings. Hey, who's on? <laughs> We've talked about this, all of us. We are flooding the castle tomorrow, and that's the end of it. I know, I know. I accepted your decision, and I do not intend to go back on my word. Nevertheless, as the battle draws near, I cannot help but recall our many travails, and it fair compels me to speak. In all my time serving as a leader of men, there are two failures which haunt me to this day. The first, a defeat at the hands of the Empire 25 years past and the subsequent imprisonment of your father. Long did I consider offering up my life in atonement until Lord Kyan allowed at last to receive visitors called for me of all people, for my unborn child, he said, for my dearest Shun, live. My second failure, of course, was the betrayal of that selfsame command, when in the rebellion I failed to protect not only Lord Kayan, but Lord Hien too. That I yet live, having known such disgrace, is an affront to the Kami themselves. Yet you, all of you, so fit to grant this shameful creature, this failure, another chance to serve a greater purpose. Thank you for pitying an old fool. Now, now, it is far too soon for that. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Ah, even that sounds morose. We who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. Is right about one thing, though. We have you and yours to thank for this chance. All debts will be repaid. On that you have my word. But first we must live past tomorrow, no? If you've no intention of sleeping, you giddy, you may as well join us. Forgive me, my lord. I did not mean to... If that is your will. Didn't 
He had say something about formality earlier. Yeah, he is. I trust you have nothing the worse for wear after last night. Don't worry. Once I passed out, I was sleeping like a baby. I'm telling you. What you didn't see there was that's a ghost drinking Tien and Gosetsu under the table. He was the last one to pass out. After drinking more than you would think you would be able to do for a small size. We received confirmation from the Kojin not long ago. The sappers stand at the ready and await our signal. Let us not keep them and the others waiting. Gather your things. We depart at once. <coughs> All right. Alpha now instruct Elise and the others to move into position and launch their attack. Our scouts report no change to the Imperial disposition, and I would leave nothing to chance. We must act quickly lest we lose the element of surprise. Understood. I will relay orders to her and rejoin my unit. Kosetsu and Yugiri await the two of, two of you at Monson. Monson, good luck, my friends. I will see you both again soon. And that's where we'll stop today. Because it's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. 1 a.m. Uh, I should get some sleep. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to like stream playing this. Uh, hopefully, I would like to finish Stormblood before I have to log off and uh, switch over to YouTube before it comes out loud tomorrow, but we will find out. Uh, I do have some D&D &D playing that I'm also doing tomorrow, but uh, that is not streamed. One thing. So you'll see, it will gaming seventeen because I'm trying to spend tombstones. I don't have anything to buy with them right now, at the moment. Anyways, I'll see you soon.